Making an overlay for live streaming can be challenging to do yourself if you don't know how to use an image editor like Photoshop. You can hire someone to make an overlay for you, but this can get pretty pricey. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather save my money and put it towards a game or another piece of gear. My name is Nile Like This, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple webcam overlay using nothing but OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Making this overlay will be easy, fast, and best of all, free. So let's jump over to OBS and get started. All right, now that we're in OBS, what we're going to want to do is create a new scene. You go into the bottom corner here, we can click on add scene and we can call the scene whatever we want. For this one, let's try calling it webcam. So we have a blank new scene in here. We're going to want to add a source. The first source we're going to add is going to be the webcam or whatever capture device you're using to get your image. So for this one, we're going to pick video capture device. Uh, in here, you may have some existing ones if you have a camera added already, but if not, you can add it up here. I'm going to be using an existing one, which is going to be my mic cam here, which gives us this image. Um, as you can see, it's a little too large for the canvas. So what you can always do is transform it. You can either edit the transform by yourself uh, with manual controls. You can drag it to resize, or you could also do a right click transform fit to screen. Now that we have the camera, we want to make sure that it's locked down. So we're going to click this little lock button so that I can't accidentally drag it and move it around. So to add our border or our overlay, what we're going to do is add another source. So we click the plus again. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to use a color source. So if I click on color source, uh, you can call this whatever you want. Let's try calling it overlay. And you can pick the color that you want your overlay to be. So for this example, we're going to go with white. White is the color that I use for my overlay currently, um, but you can choose whatever color you want. So we're just going to click OK. And then what you can do is you can resize this. Now, as you see, when you just drag it, it just gets bigger and smaller, right? And it's just a square and a square is not very helpful for us, right? So what we want to do is try and get a border running around the outer edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this to how thick I want the border to be. And I want a pretty thin border, so we're going to make a square about this size. Now, if you hold down the shift key and drag, you can actually make this longer or shorter. Um, if you let go of the shift key, it's going to bounce back to a square. So you need to make sure that you're holding down the shift key as you're resizing. So we hold down the shift key, drag to resize, and now we have a single edge for our overlay. Now what you can simply do is click on it, copy, control C, and then you can paste control V and you should have a duplicate. Drag this to the other side. And now we have locked on both sides part of our overlay. Now we need to get the top and bottom. So what you can do again is you can just control V paste. And now for this one, you can right click it, transform, rotate 90 degrees which is going to make it on the top You can snap it into the corner, go to the edge, hold down shift and drag. And now we have one going across the top again, since it's still selected, control C, control V, drag it to the bottom. And now we have an overlay all around the screen. So now what I would do is lock those ones down and we are going to have a complete, complete overlay. Now for adding this to our game scene, we're going to make a new scene here. Let's call this one uh, gameplay. You might have individual scenes for each game that you play. That's what I typically do. Um, let's give an example of playing Divinity 2. So I have Divinity up right now and we need to get a capture of it. I'm on a two PC setup, so I'm going to be capturing my Elgato capture card. So here we go. So we have Divinity up. Uh, again, I can lock it down so I don't accidentally move it. And if I want to add my cam to this, instead of going in and adding a video capture device and then selecting my cam again, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add a scene. So you can use scenes within scenes. And if I select the cam scene that we just made, here's the webcam here. If I select it, you can see it just looks like the previous scene, but if I resize this now, we can fit it wherever we want on the screen. So that looks like a pretty good spot to me. And if I wanted to, 
you can see that the white against this might be clashing a little bit. So if you have a game that you want to kind of match the UI inside of, you can maybe tweak the color of your border. So what we can do is click on studio mode, webcam, which has our previous overlay inside of it, go into overlay again, double click it. And now we want to pick the color of our overlay. So we go into select color and then pick screen color. And now what this is going to do is you can see in this area, whatever my mouse is hovering over, it's going to show the color. And I want to get this color, this kind of dark brown color in here. So if I click that, hit OK, you can immediately see the change happen. We exit studio mode. You can see we now have a webcam overlay that matches Divinity 2. Uh, and you can do this for any game and any scene and I think it looks really really clean. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified of any future videos. I also live stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash annihilate this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Uh, if you have any comments you can put them down below or you can ask me when I'm live on Twitch. Hope to see you guys there. No 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 <laughs> that sounds like a system of a dance song. No, 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 no. Everybody's going to.